how'd you get in my house? Uh, I apologize. I didn't mean to take you by surprise. I just wanted to come and offer my condolences. I was very sorry to hear about Connie's death. How'd you get in? Well, um, a very imposing gentleman met me at the door, actually. Max, I think he said. He let you in? Well, he, he was a little reluctant at first. But that changed when I explained to him that I'm family. Family? You're saying you left him alone? Of course not. He's with Morgan's new mother-in-law. I realize our connection is newly minted. But we are family, nevertheless. Listen, lady. I don't know you from Adam. Well, then let me introduce myself. Your son married my daughter, Kiki. I'm Ava Jerome. Ava Jerome. I've so looked forward to meeting you. I've been in town for months. I've spent quite a bit of time around your son, Morgan. He's a lovely young man. You must be very proud. Yes, I am. I really wish that I had reached out sooner, when we had something to celebrate. Now, again, I'm, I'm very sorry for the occasion of my visit. I should recognize you from your picture. I got a file on you. We had you checked out when Morgan and Kiki first got together. Checked out? Yeah. Why would you do something like that? The point is, Sonny Head is not in the game, man. Right? I want supposed to be focused. It's not personal. I have my guys run checks on everybody I'm dealing with. In my business, you can't be too careful. I had no idea the coffee business was so dangerous. Well, it's just like any other industry, you know. You never know who's gonna try to take over your territory. And you were worried about me? <sighs> well, I don't know whether I should be insulted or flattered. Well, you can take it any way you want. Maybe you were concerned that I wanted to horn in on your share of the espresso market? Or maybe you thought that I might be a member of the Jerome crime family? Are you? You said you ran a check on me. If I was part of a Jerome crime family. I'm sure you'd know by now. Depends on where you covered your tracks. Well, then I'd have to say not very well. After all, don't you think my first step would be to change my name? Not necessarily. You might have taken a calculated risk. You know, last name Jerome's not that unusual. Unless you're residing in Port Charles. I haven't been here very long, but I have learned that the name Jerome presses a lot of buttons in this town. Really? You are not the first person to ask me if I'm one of those Jeromes. In fact, I had a, a very interesting conversation with a charming Scotsman named Duke Lavery. He had similar suspicions. 